Hey guys, it's Ty's Minecraft 360 here with another video for you guys today, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make homemade gas mask filters for your GP5 gas mask. So, I, uh, I made a review um, the other day of uh, my GP5 gas mask. If you want, guys want to watch that, it's on my channel, obviously. So, yeah. We are going to be making filters. Um, well, I'm we're not actually going to make them. I'm just going to show you how to make them because I don't have the stuff to make another one. But uh, there are compatible filters that go that fit on the GP5 gas mask. Um, now, before I get into actually showing you how I made them. Um, I need to kind of put in a bit of a disclaimer because unless you guys um, find out a better way to make them block more stuff, um, these are not something you want to depend on. All right, these if you, these are more as if you want a semi-functional prop for your GP5. So these are not something you want to like keep stored away in case of an emergency and depend your life on these things. These are not probably most likely. I mean, I haven't tested them obviously, but um, I haven't tested them to their full extent. I have tested them to the point where I know that they will block some things, but not everything. So don't go, don't just go rushing into a field of uh, let's say. Uh, some really poisonous gas and expect one of these homemade filters to save you. It might, but I don't know, so don't trust these filters with your life. So, first of all, these are made out of just regular, ordinary cans. Uh, this one's actually a can cut in half because this used to be a little bit taller, and I wanted to replicate um, the original GP5 filter, which I have here. And I wanted to replicate that as much as I can, could, I should say. And so I had a, like a little coffee can, whatever, and uh, me and my mom cut it in half. And then we have the lid for it, which we then we glued on. So I'm going to go over uh, the materials that you'll need and uh, possibly the tools and you know, all that. So first we'll start with the cans. I'm not sure what cans these were from, but really, any can of your preference will work. These are just the ones I made. Um, they can be, heck, they can be gallon jugs for all I care. But um, I was just trying to go for, like, copying the actual Soviet filters with these. So, uh, yeah. First, I guess we'll start with this one because this is the first one I made. So you just want to get a simple can, and this one's not sealed like this one is, so I can tear this one apart and show you what's actually inside here. And I do have some materials here to show you uh, what to put in, and I... No, okay, I have them all. <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, so, we go and pop the bottom off. It's a bit stuck on, because I kind of friction fitted it on. Uh, hold on. go just a bit really good friction fit but uh so for, I guess since I have it here we'll start with the lid this is uh, the the lid from the can and as you can see I just, I just drilled a bunch of holes in the can it doesn't have to be perfect as long as airflow can go through this that's all that matters you can see on this one it's not perfect either but um so that's the lid just a simple just the, just the lid of the can then here's the can. Now, first of all, the first thing you're going to see in here is this big paper towel wad. This is unnecessary. I just put it in mine because I wanted to. But functionally, as far as I know, this is unnecessary. But we're just going to go ahead and take it out. Now, the first thing you're going to see after that is this. This is a, like, dust mask, surgical mask style thing. This is a little bit more necessary because not only do they help block charcoal, as you can see, there's a bit of charcoal crud on the thing, 
they help keep the charcoal in and they also act as a proper particulate filter so that's that and then if we go in here we have another one of these which again these act as particulate filters so they're important now next is the more important part which is the uh, up in my eye is the uh, charcoal and I have this like little bean bag oh excuse me sorry I just had a can of pop um, I have this like bean bag of these little charcoal pellets and I have the uh, I have the the can the thing these they're just uh, aquarium a uh, little charcoal activated carbon charcoal pellets you yeah. I can't really see it in there. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on my hand just to show you what they look like. They're just these little, just these little rocks. You can see there in my hand. They're just these little rocks, little activated charcoal rocks. So, um, I just, I like I said, I can't make another filter because I just about used all of this on just these two filters alone. So. As you can see, this is containing like a little bean bag thing. This is actually pantyhose. So, uh, got these pantyhose socks. And if I can, without making a mess, I'll demonstrate what you do. So you have your thing. You get your charcoal. Take a little of the charcoal off. And then... Uh, of course, there's going to be more in here, and then you pour the charcoal into the, uh, the pantyhose. So, see if I can do this without making a mess. And it might help, actually I just had this idea, it might help if you kind of like put it over your can, like this. Just, just to help make it easier to uh, actually get the charcoal in the thing. Uh, so, just kind of pour it, the charcoal into the pantyhose until you're at your desired amount and then then you got this little um, there's not nearly as much as there needs to be for a proper filter inside here but then you got this little thing here and then you kind of pat it all about down to the bottom and then you tie it off which I'm not going to because I'm going to put this charcoal back in its bucket but then you would tie this off and then cut the excess off and then you got your little bean bag thing and that will block in theory block out any major chemicals such as chlorine and other substances like chlorine nerve gas not maybe not nerve gas uh, uh, chlorine and uh, tear gas should be able to block some basic stuff so in that's in theory again I haven't proved any of that because I don't have the stuff to prove it but yeah just knee-high women's pantyhose from the dollar store will work just fine uh, so then that's and then the end result is this little bean bag and then in my filter also have another one if you see that a little another filter um, dust mask filter in there so then to put it all together I'm not going to take that out because I actually have that exactly the way I want it. Um, you're going to have your can. And then you have a, a, drill, drill, a hole drilled in the top. The thread I'll talk about later. And then you take your bean bag, your charcoal bean bag. You put it in the filter. You pat it down so it fills out the filter. Fills out the, to the sides. And then... Just how this is how I built mine. You take another dust mask um, filter, stick that in there like that, and then in my um, situation, you have this, which acts as another particulate filter, and then this useless paper towel wad, which is more of a space filler than anything else. And you then you just stuff this down in here like that, um, nice and compact. Oh, I got a ton of charcoal on me hands and then once that's done you can probably and then you put the lid back on the can and then make sure it's not gonna come out and then you got yourself a 
a basic filter. Now, going a little bit more in depth about such things such as the thread and uh, the paint that I used to paint it. So, we'll start with the paint. The paint I used is this stuff right here. This, uh, this paint right here. I used, uh, I wanted a proper, like, military olive drab color, but, uh, what I got was, uh, Italian olive color. It was the closest map, closest I could get from what was at Walmart. And, of course, if you've never used spray paint before, all you do is just, you shake the can, and you mix the paint up, and then you put, pull the, I never liked this paint cap. There we go. And then you just push down on that and you, you spray. Obviously, I'm not going to do that right now. I'll come in my room. But uh, then you just spray that all over the can as how you like. Just make sure not to put too much or you'll get this. It's called run. I made that mistake. Um, and, uh, and I'll, uh, yeah. You paint that how you want it. And then I put a layer of clear coat on it you probably don't need to do that but I did that for mine so it's just so it's a little bit more protected even though this one here is chipping up pretty easy and I did the same process for this one as I did this one actually I did this one first and then uh yeah now let's go into the top section so you just drill a hole into this try to make it as big as you can because it, it's better airflow um, and then for the thread, I'll be right back. I forgot the one thing that I needed to show you for the threads. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and I got the uh, thing that I used for the uh, thread on the filter. And it is soap. This is a soap bottle from Bath and Body Works. The, my mom buys these. These are what we use in our bathrooms. Hand soap. We sit on the sink. Um, the, uh, if you take the cap off of this bottle... The threads that screw the cap on. If you uh, if you have an empty bottle, like don't throw it away. Keep the keep the bottle. Take a hacksaw, which I don't have. This in the basement, and you cut the top of the bottle off, and then you uh, try to make it as easy, even as you can. Sand it a little bit with a hand uh, electric sander, and then you want to take. Uh, make sure you glue this on before applying paint, because. Um, I learned that the hard way, where I glued this thread on to the paint, and it came off real easy. So make sure you, when gluing it, glue it straight to the metal, then paint it, and then put like some masking tape right on the top here, and then paint it afterwards. That works a lot better. So, uh, want to use? We used uh, me and my mom. By that's what I mean by we. We used um, E6000 um, glue. And it works real well. We we use that to seal the bottom of this filter, and the glue on the thread of this filter. And you can see the uh, thread from these soap bottles are the perfect size and fit and seal um, perfectly on the GP5. So I got really lucky when it comes to that. So thank the people who designed this soap bottle. For that um so yeah make sure like I said make sure you put glue whatever gluing you're gonna do if you want like especially with the thread make sure you glue the thread on first then paint over it um, you might get some paint coming off of the thread like mine but that's not a big deal because whenever you put the mask I mean the thread on the mask you're not seeing that part you're only seeing this part of it so that doesn't really matter um you can also put some sharpie markings on on yours like i did mine i just came up with a random model number um i came up with uh t-01 made 2019 and then this one is the t-02 made in 2019 so those are my model numbers for these. Th these are really based off of, this is based off of the coffee can style Soviet um, gas mask filter, or I think it's called the E-016. 
And then this one is based off of the GP5 gas mask filter, which um, I know I talked all about this in my uh, review of the GP5, but these are not, that's the reason why I made these. These are not safe to breathe through, these original GP5 filters. So these are kind of a cheap prop alternative. They, they, they somewhat work, and they ha you can paint them whatever color. Heck, you can paint these pink for all I care. And then they screw on, and they seal, and they work with this GP5. Now, you could probably put better internals than what I did to make them block more things, but just with what I have and what I'm probably need, going to need to be blocking when I'm using it as a prop, this will be just fine. This blocks, as far as I've tested, it's blocked smoke from a fire, which I probably need to test again because I was a bit sick whenever I tested that. So, I don't, not sure. I tested it, um with uh, a little, some uh, essential oils that had a really strong scent to it, and that was okay, it blocked that. And then, I've tested them on, yeah, whenever I was spray painting these, I was wearing this filter before I painted it, I was painting this one here, the one that's on the mask, I was painting it, and I was wearing this filter, and I couldn't smell the spray paint while I was spray painting it or clear coat spray paint either. So, they block that as well. And uh, one thing to note when it comes to these filters, these are not long-term filters at all. Being exposed and not sealed, the charcoal is going to degrade very fast than sealed up like the GP5 filter. The reasoning being, at least what I've heard, is that the charcoal absorbs chemicals and sm scents and smells and stuff like that. Sitting around in your house is just going to be constantly absorbing smells that like around the house. Scents and chemicals or whatever might be in the air. It's just going to be con constantly absorbing that until it's just eventually just oversaturated and the charcoal won't block anything anymore. So effectively these will only last you for so long Whereas a sealed filter will last you years. These might only last you a few months, maybe a year, I don't know. I'll have to keep testing them every, like, maybe month or so. And keep testing them to make sure that they still work. But, uh, yeah. And you might have noticed that this, this one's green, this thread is green, and this one's clear. That's because I painted this one first, then put this on, then it broke. Then we put it back on, I messed with it too soon, then it broke again, then we put it back on, and now it's fine. But, uh, at least, yeah. Um, for this one, I, the thread was attached before the, we painted it, so, that, it's a stronger, uh, thing, and then we just put some masking tape over this, so it's still clear on the inside, but it's painted on the outside, and when we painted it, it got green, so, that's that. That's why that is. So, as long as you guys can get a can of your liking, you have a drill, a hacksaw that, that's capable of cutting metal or plastic, and uh, you're, uh, you're able to get things like pantyhose, uh, cheap. A lot of the things you buy here are cheap. Like, this whole tub was like $10. These were like a bucket dollar general. And, uh, the cans were free because we already had them, but you might have to use, like, a soup can or something like that, anything like that. Um, what else did we use? Use the drill, so as long as you have access to a drill and hacksaw that's capable of cutting metal or plastic. And the dust masks, uh, those were, like, a dollar. Um, they were really cheap. For a dollar general, you can get pack of 10 for like a buck so they're really cheap and easy and they work and what else did I use oh that's really about it the paper towel one unnecessary and two it's just paper towel about anybody has paper towel so that's about it for my homemade gas mask filters they are pretty easy to make and they work like I said 
Do not guarantee, do not risk your life on these things, and they uh, will not block what they can block forever. So these are temporary, more of a prop than anything else. But that's all I have to say for my video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck making your filters. Bye!